so when you held your book up, mm -hmm. your book, I, it's gorgeous and it's, it's comprehensive. I think that's yeah, the, yeah. the best way to describe it. Like it's, 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 <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a big one, uh, which just shows how much information kind of goes into this. So I'm curious kind of first, who is this, who is this book written for? Like who mm -hmm. really is that ideal person that's going to pick this up or maybe buy it and pass it along to somebody else that they know? What, what, what is that? Right. So the, the first person is somebody who's early in their training, uh, you know, maybe a teacher training, maybe a principal training, uh, somebody who's in, in that space where they need to reconsider what it all means. Mm -hmm. um, which is why you, you know, when you're, when you're in your, your, your teacher certification program, you know, they have like those, they used to call them philosophy education courses. Now they do it, kind of roll that into methodologies or other, other kinds of courses where they say, okay, what's, um, l let's, let's dig deep, get down to the fundaments and say, okay, this is what it's all about. Um, and so, so those are the, that's the ideal audience. Um, and it, and of course, somebody who is in that moment where they're at a deflection point in their career and they're saying, OK, what is this about? And they're they're doing the same kind of conversation with themselves and saying, OK, how do I rethink this? Um, or someone who uh, may be disillusioned. I mean, that, that once again, deflection point is like maybe they're considering what do, what, what what does it look like in those other kinds of schools, uh, schools that don't operate in the mainstream? What do they these? other schools look like um and so that's a that's a part of why it takes so much so many words um is because it's just explaining something that people don't naturally understand because most people didn't go through this the kind of education that i focus on yeah. my goal and, and someone asked me this recently um and said you know what do you what do you what uh i, I remember what it was who do you want equity for mm. and th this was somebody who probably had a conservative bent and was concerned that I was, you know, focusing on only some people. Mm -hmm. um, but truly, it is for the children, mm -hmm. regardless of anything about them. Mm -hmm. It is children that I'm committed to bringing equity to. And, and the research that I did was built on decades of observation in, in many kinds of schools, but mostly the mainstream and showed, oh, kids are disengaged at a very high rate. No, this isn't news. Everybody knew this. Yeah. <laughs> if, yeah. When you when you go to school and, and everybody expects you to be bored, yeah, and disengage and like only do as much as you can to get by, yeah, and that's normal. That's what's expected. Then then in educational terms, something's very very wrong. Yeah. And and that's where you know when they ask, what are you who, who are you doing this for? It's, it's for the children, and it's it's really bringing equity. I wanted the experience I had. Which, like I said, I was successful on the system's terms because mm -hmm. I got into an elite college. Isn't that the whole goal? You go through K twelve, you get into an elite college, you won, right? Yeah, yeah. But I did that in such a way that in after three years in my first time in college, it was like I was burned out. I'd been burned out for a long time, but then I suddenly realized it, and and I just I dropped out. So I was I I went to college and dropped out because it had burned me out first. Yeah, and that's ridiculous. Now I went back and finished. Uh, yeah. 20 years later, <laughs> uh, a 20 year sabbatical in the middle. Um, but that was, that was part of what drove me to, to figure these things out is like, wait a minute, why was I more engaged and passionate and interested in better grades and the whole bit the second time around? That's yeah. you know, what's going on. Why was I more engaged the first time? And, and so there's actually, I think some really important things to learn um, from psychology about engagement and motivation and how it works. And, and even if the um, education magazine, EL magazine is one I, I get a lot um, mm -hmm. from ASCD, you know, and, and they had a whole issue on it. And, and they never, they're not even 10 years behind. They're like more than 10 years behind in, in terms of what psychology is saying. Now, they're not saying bad things, but they're, they're getting it slightly wrong. They're, they're, uh, uh, I made a video about it. They had one featured uh, columnists who who did a thing and, and were promoting a model that not only wasn't appropriate i mean it was like the author of the model said this is just an intuitive thing it's not the actual how 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 engagement works and yet they were promoting it as if it was and sure. so um you know yeah I, I think there's a really important conversation to be had about education and psychology as you know like the same way that medicine mm -hmm. is based on biology yeah. Okay. Medicine's the practical stuff. Mm -hmm. 
biology is the basic science. Well, you need to understand that education is the applied science of psychology and yeah. the psychology of learning and motivation and engagement. And so that's a, an important part of the book I, is, is yeah. framing a model for that to be have a better conversation about that. I am just so excited that uh, that we are here and it is it is today is the day. So yeah, yeah. I have your website at the bottom of the screen. Uh, yeah, so people good. can go check out holisticequity.org. Your book is available in all of the places. You're a nice uh, Vanna White here. Uh, Schooling yes. for Holistic Equity, How to Manage hidden, the Hidden Curriculum in K through 12. So if anyone is interested in that, I am a big fan, as is Publisher Purpose, of supporting independent local bookstores. So please, if you have the opportunity, if there's one in your area, just walk in and say, hey, I need to order Don's book. Boom, you can get yep. it. Um, if you don't have one in your area, uh, bookshop.org is an online independent bookstore that does a ton of good in the community of authors and uh, in the world of literature. So uh, strongly encourage them as well. And of course, if you are, uh, you know, used to just doing one click purchasing via Amazon, the book is there as well. So Absolutely. whatever makes sense for you, but, you know, support local when possible. Don, is there any final, final parting words that you'd like to share before we conclude? Well, um, I just want to, you know, thank you for, for seeing me through this process and, and, and being a wonderful resource um, in taking next steps for my book. Um, and and really appreciate that and uh, encourage people to yeah order it. Uh, get it. I'm available through my website. Um, I'm I'm just really excited to help serve and and help people humanize their schools. Um, so if there's any way I can help, I'm I'm willing to do it.